Hello, how are you doing? I think I'm recording. Yep, that's a good start. How are you doing? Um, sorry about the cat attacking me. It's finally back again for another video. Sorry it's been so long. Been um, So it must have been, what, two months now, I'm guessing, since my last video. I've been thinking to myself for a little while, I need to get another one up. But I've been putting it off, putting it off, because I've been waiting for this new jewellery to turn up. And I literally got back home from work, been in the house about two minutes. And I checked the mail, and it's finally here. So I thought, oh yeah, about time. I actually make a quick video now, which I'm pleased about. But I had a couple of problems getting it sent out to me. Apparently, for whatever reason, it actually got sent back to the chap. After he sent it for the first time. But finally, it's here. So I'm pretty pleased about this. So I'm going to... figure figured I'd do a little... Little hello update video plus a little package opening thing. Never tried to do this before on video, so this will be interesting to see how it goes. Plus, I only get one shot at it. Seems... <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting texts. Says <laughs> once this is open, I can't seal up again. But whatever. So yeah. All right, let's have a look. My cat is making all sorts of noises now. What are you doing, little girl? Okay. This is Gwen. I don't know if you. I think she was on one of her old videos. What are you doing, you silly girl? Anyway, right, I'm very excited. I've been waiting for this for so long. I'm really excited. Let's see if I can get it open. Not that it's hard. And let's have a look. Up, inside a lovely little box. And there should be. Yes, there we go. These are the pieces I've ordered, obviously. And we have. Lovely little box. Two pieces for my conches and a new bigger septum ring. Pretty pleased with this. I decided to go with um, black Darwin. And the last few pieces I've had have been white, white PDFE. And I decided this time I'd go with a bit of black jewellery. Just because it's a little bit less subtle. It doesn't look like I've got like a polo stuck up my nose or something. <laughs> and I also decided in the past I've always gone with glass pieces for my conches. But, I keep dropping these and breaking them. So I thought, just this time, I'll try Delrin, just to see how it goes. I'm a little bit nervous to try a different material for actually stretching them, but it should be alright. I'm pretty confident it'll be alright. I've heard other people say good things about them. So yeah. Oh, I'm really happy with these. So yeah, it's a nice long conch pins. I always like them extra long, because I don't particularly like putting earrings on them, and they do tend to slide about a little bit. I find when they're too short, they don't have much room to slide before they actually fall out. Whereas these ones, because these are nice and long, and obviously you can see these ones as well, nice and long, I do notice them before they fall out. Mind it shouldn't be quite such a problem, seeing as these are not glass anyway, so they shouldn't shatter. Well, they won't shatter. So, but no, pretty pleased with that. And the septum. Oh yeah, these are 14 millimeters by the way. These are currently. 13. I think it's been over a year now since I've actually stretched my conches, if I remember rightly. I think. I can't quite remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. So I'm pretty pleased to finally be on the way again with these. I'm going to start stretching these a little bit more aggressively. I think I've stretched my set about three times so far this year. And like I said, literally, this will be the first time I think this entire year I've actually stretched these. So... I'm going to start pushing them a little harder because they're starting to get left behind I do want them quite a bit bigger than they are now but yeah, anyway so yeah, they're 40mm and this one's now 26mm which is quite nice or it should be, I actually haven't got my little calipers about I have some digital calipers that I can measure things with and get like exact fractions of a millimetre but let's compare it to this I don't know how well it will come up on there, but it is fractionally good. Let's see if I can get this on camera right. Nah, it's not going to work. But it is, yeah, obviously a millimetre bigger, so it's very, very similar. You can just about see it there. So it's obviously very, very similar, but it should, should all be good. Let's check the width of them. I go. I always get these very, very slim. Because as I said before, my septum has gotten so big now that I need 
very specific size jewelry in order to be able to fit it up my nostrils. So I'm not going to actually stretch it now. But I will see if I can get it through my nostrils because that will be the actual. Provided I can get it through my actual nostrils, that will be a good sign that I'll actually be able to stretch it fine. So oh, I should have got some oil somewhere. I'll be right. It's only a test run anyway. I'm not going to force it in. I imagine this will be a little bit tight. Lovely view there, sorry. Oh, easy. Very easily gone through the actual nostril. Which means I will be able to stretch it up. No problem. I'm not going to stretch it right now, as I said. But you did a few little preparations. Definitely tight. <laughs> it's definitely very tight pulling it out again. Cool, that pinched. Like I said, it's the actual getting it through the nostril that's the bad bit. So this will be really fine once I'm once I've lubed it all up and gotten it into my actual septum. And plus, my my nostrils themselves actually stretch out after I've been yanking it about and filling it about. So they're right. Anyway, yeah. Cat's making strange noises. I don't know if you can hear it over there. Let's put that back in. But yeah. So really pleased with that. I had to finally actually get them. I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm undecided how I'm gonna stretch them all, seeing as all three are quite uncomfortable piercings to stretch. <laughs> cool. Anyway, seeing as they're all quite uncomfortable piercings to stretch, I don't think I'm gonna do all three at once. I think I'm gonna do the conches one at a time, because that's something. Anyone who's considering stretching conscious, if you're going to do both of them, it's worth doing them one at a time. Just so, like, when you go to bed at night, you have one side that you can lay on, and the other side is going to be really painful. Because there's not really anything you can do to avoid them actually being painful when you stretch cartilage piercings in your ear. Unless you're extremely lucky. Cat's back again. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. You alright, man? <laughs> anyway. So, yeah... It, but um, I've been considering doing one conch and a septum at the same time, and a septum at the same time, just so I can compare how it feels, but I don't know. Maybe I'll end up biting the bullet and just doing both conches at the same time, just to get over and done with. There is that. But, anyway, yeah. Before I ramble on too much more, really happy to finally get new jewellery in. And, um, what are you looking at? Silly girl. She's in there. Oh. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, really happy to finally get my jewelry in. Everything else is going alright. My bridge is actually now up to 4mm, and how well you can see it. It's actually big enough for me to wear a tiny little tunnel now, which I haven't got with me. Had I thought about it, I could have gotten that with me just to show off. I might make another little video just to show off with the little tiny tunnel in it. The scar has flared up a little bit again, which is what I was expecting to happen anyway, following the stretch. But it's it's already started going down. I think it was about two weeks ago that I stretched this, and it's already starting to go down again already. I have no doubt it'll go back down to how it was, the same as last time. It was almost completely gone by the time I actually stretched this time, so should should be right. And um, the ears are back up to 90. I can't remember exactly what they were in the last video. They've got a little bit of a gap. But I was actually hoping to hit 90 millimeters before the end of this year, which obviously I've done. So I'm not planning on stretching up again any time too soon. I will probably wait until we're into the new years to put any more tape on. Although that means I have to be wearing tape quite a bit obviously, for the next couple of months, which isn't ideal, but, no, I'm thinking, um, probably waiting until we're into the New Year's to actually start taping them up some more, just to give them another break again, because I don't want to go back. Hello, sorry, I'm back again. I'll have to, um, edit the two parts there together. The phone just ran out of memory. Anyway, so yeah, back again, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, yeah, that was literally what I think I was going to say anyway. It is back up to 90. They're pretty happy and healthy at the moment. I don't want to push them too hard and end up messing them up again. I think I have my 96s down here somewhere. Really? There they are. 
there's still a little bit of a way to go before they're back as big as they were. Mind you, I don't know how well you can see how the difference on there, but but no. So yeah, a little bit to go before I'm back at them again. Hopefully, it should only be a short amount of time. Fingers crossed. I, mean, I don't know how much if I was to force them in. You can see there's quite a quite a nice little gap there appearing already. I'm not obviously I'm not going to do anything. Hello, sorry, back again. Um, yeah, I'll make this real quick. The phone battery just died, so we're doing really well. Anyway, that's basically everything I want to say. It is back at 90. I'll do a new video soon after I stretch something, and I will talk a little bit about my actual bridge stretch. Anyway, that was all I want to do for this video. Just a, I guess a quick little unboxing video is what you call it. So lovely. I hope everyone's doing alright. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye for now. Ta-ra.